that there, that one there is the biggest snapper I've ever caught so close to shore, only about 500 metres off in the kayak. I set off this morning, not feeling that flash as I normally do, because my son didn't want to get out of bed and I was concerned about him. It's been like that sometimes and I, I hope he's okay because it's not really in his nature to, to sleep in. So I took myself fishing anyway and caught six good snapper. Just using my dad's old Prowler 13 kayak, just back up there. And I went on here this morning and I tried something I've never done before. I went out there without any burley and without putting the anchor down and I let the wind blow me out off the point about 500 metres offshore and I drift fished and I hooked into a whole lot of fish, six, and I released I think two. And that video will be on my Patreon uh, probably tonight or tomorrow. I snapped in half my Taika Bora, my Jigstar Taika Bora rod. It's only a rod, it is $900 to replace it. <sighs> Doesn't matter, it's only a fucking rod. There's much, there's much more serious things than that. I'm not, I'm not losing any sleep over it. It's replaceable. This video is really about changing your thinking and appreciation. Because when I came back in, I met a guy called Matt, and he came up to me, introduced himself to me, watches the channel. He's actually got his own channel. Uh, I forget the last name. He t did tell me, and I've actually subscribed to it. But he's got cancer in his liver, his lungs, and his bowel. And we got talking about our journey with cancer and that, and it was really awesome to meet him. A really awesome guy, a bow hunter, mountain biker. He's just stuffed his bloody shoulder on the same thing as me mate Arb has to his shoulder. And when he was telling me his story, and I was thinking about this broken rod, and I was like a little bitch when I met him, and oh, I broke my rod, and he was like, yeah, don't worry about it. And he's fucking right, don't fucking worry about it. It really brought back to home the uh, the shortness of life and the reality, the true reality of what we we face and what we challenge and how we should put things in perspective. Anyway, I did change my mood this morning. I was feeling a little bit shit because I was concerned about my son. He's like, oh, it's just natural for young people, I know, to lie in bed and that, but I, I worry about I worry about my kids. Parents do. It's, a, it's like your, your mum will always worry about you, and I've been a, a single dad for a long time, or solo father, whatever you want to call it, and so you take on more when you're like that they become so important to you. Anyway, it was a win-win because I I shook the mood and I also uh, got fish, fish for all my friends and family. I was going to stop at six anyway because I worked out who I would give fish to and at the end of it, six was enough. I think my phone's going to drop off the bloody window because it's so hot I'm holding it. What I really wanted to make this video about was about changing your mood like I did this morning. I, I wasn't, if I'm really, really honest, I wasn't feeling flash. Uh, I've had a lot on my plate lately and been a bit overwhelmed with work and keeping up. And I thought, well, I'm not going to go and work on my bloody diesel boat. I've been, been on there for the, quite a, a lot of days. I did have a couple of days off when Crispy came and visited me, but then I got back on it yesterday and I spent the best part of yesterday down in the engine room flushing shit out, working on it, and other jobs are building up, and I'm a little bit anxious about my houseboat, I want to get that out of the water and start work on that, but I, I have to do it myself because my mate who's a builder, Arb, has fucked his rotator cuff mountain biking, actually Matt that I just met now, he fucked his rotator cuff mountain biking too. When you get in your 50s, you have to learn that your body just doesn't bounce back anywhere near like it did when you were younger, and so you really have to be... Uh, Aware of that, I've got to be careful. I've got a car up my ass. It's going to go up my ass if he's not careful. Okay, good. The car can both ways. People are so impatient. Uh, some coffee to pick up from some good bastard that dropped it. Oh, good, they're turning my hay. I'll get that coffee later. Cool. They're making the hay ready for baleage. Got a machine here. I'll take this and turn around as I go up the driveway. That's cool. There goes the machine now. So we go up. Bloody brilliant. So I'll be getting hay out of that back on the hook bit of a bumpy ride up anyway that's uh, what's been going on so that's cool awesome good weather for making hay yes you can change how you're feeling by changing your environment going out catching fish in the sea definitely is a good environment for me and I got out there and left all the troubles behind 
you, you pick your troubles up again, that's okay. But it's like it's like holding that glass out in front of you. Teacher asks you how much it weighs, you say, oh, 500, 500 grams. They make you hold it out there for five minutes and you say it weighs a kilogram. All your burdens become heavier and heavier the longer you hold on to them. So it's really important to put them down for a moment, go for a hunt, go for a fish, do something, just put them down and then pick them up later on. They'll be much lighter and you can deal with them. I'm going to go inside and make a coffee for my son and me and then I'm going to uh, prepare those fish. I'm going to feed all the guts to my chickens because I don't waste anything, knock the scales off them and I need to replace the fish that are in the fridge because somebody tripped over a lead and all the fish in the fridge have gone off. There was only three there, they're dog tucker. That's a very short bro check video just sharing with you where I'm at today and uh, the day has definitely got a lot better, a lot better than it was. I actually got a new seat on my kayak too and it made a hell of a difference paddling. I took the old one off, I bought one of those Viking uh, kayak seats and uh, when Crispy came up we changed it, there goes the seat up there. Made a huge difference. And it's my dad's, my old dad's kite, and here's the uh, the old one, which is pucker rude. Made a hell of a difference paddling with uh, a decent seat. I also bought myself a new paddle, which I left behind today, which is a bit dumb. Go steady, check on yourself. And when I say check on yourself, if you're feeling a bit flat like I was this morning, then turn it, turn it around. Do something to turn it around, and uh, you'd be surprised how the whole day turns around. Get out and do anything, something. And one thing I'll say on doing that, just do the small, don't aim too high, just do something that's doable. Don't say, oh, I'm going to go and bloody shoot a 12 pointer, or I'm going to go and catch the biggest snapper. Just do something. Because if you stay where you are, then you're likely to keep on feeling how you're feeling if you're not feeling good, or even if you're feeling a bit flat like I was. You, you're going to stay there, so change your environment. It's awesome to see my son has actually just been doing this gardening work the last couple of days. He's tidied this area up. He's certainly motivating himself to work. That's me, brothers. Much love to you all, and uh, thanks for hearing me out. I hope you're all keeping well. I'm going to make a coffee. A coffee it is. Whew, how long has this video been going for? Seven minutes. It's a shorty. See ya.